Okay, we've installed Arch merged. Then we installed all our scripts from AMD i3. That's this one. Everything that's in here has been installed as well. This one. And this is your config, your i3 config, and that one has been copied in here in your dot config i3. But as you can see, it looks plain ugly. What do we do? Super Shift T. Alex appearance. We start with this program. Our dark is my favorite, as you would, will know probably by now. And then there's a lot of sadly things, a lot of certain things. I'm gonna change to something I normally don't use. Sadly, or Claude Papyrus, Havelock, or the Cornflower, or the Casablanca. Normally, don't take this one or that one. Anyway, we choose a icon theme, a mouse cursor theme. The fonts are okay, and that's it. Apply. Now this thing is is still white, which is not normal, as you might know. And what we do is super X. Where's my screen key? Oops, my screen key is gone. So, oh, all right, okay, <laughs> shut down. That's what we did because we were <laughs> in super X. And the S is shut down. So right, no problem. Logging off or shutting down, it takes a little bit more seconds, but in the end, it provides me with the same thing, that the look will be better now. So as you can see, this is well, this is this is great. This this looks great. But ha, ah, virtual box. What is he doing? He's making everything more difficult. Okay, great because that I can inclu include it in my tutorial. What do you do? Virtual screen, tell him to resize it and then control F and control F. Again, do it again, like so, resize it. And now helping doing control F again doesn't help us a bit. Uh, so what we do now is X and then uh, shut down, no, reboot, easier. And then we wait, cross our fingers. And what do you know, these tricks do work. There you are. And you have now a big screen. Control F to be back in business. Full screen, Control F, that's what it does. And my screen key is gone. Screen key is activated again. And we can show you that Control T is going to open a terminal. Oops, that's a nice wallpaper. Let's have a look at it. Not so bad at all. So we like it and we say, all right, let's copy to the favorites. Or there's also a shortcut which says Alt F. And Alt F is now added to the favorites. Still, well, a week later than Halloween. So it's still okay. So we have here package manager telling, hey, Eric, uh, there's something to update here. It's red. Uh, message here, details. What can we update? We can update these things. Okay, fine. Update it. And wants to know my password. There you have it. Everybody sees it. And done. And this is my i3 system. Can you show us more? I can, but I do see now that it's still not actually going to full screen. Let's wait for it. Control F. Control F again. And the second time around, he gets smarter. One, two, three, four, five. No, it doesn't get smarter this time. <sighs> Virtual box is always an issue. Anyway, so you can see that we have here workspaces and that our theme is applied. And um, what else can we do? We have applied a wallpaper. That's there, that's the one we liked. And we have uh, a new Alex appearance. We use that one to have icons. The theme is changed. Mm -hmm. So pretty much um, all is set. The only thing left for me to do is now to explain other things and to see, um, first of all, if I can fix this virtual box thing here again. But um, that will be fixed uh, in the next tutorial. 
All right, so enjoy i3. That's um, very important that you have fun with it and that you learn about i3. There are a lot of tutorials on the Airview board, but I'll make some more here right now. All right.